My name is Kelly Alexa and I am one in four. I was sexually abused as a child from the age of four to the age of 13 by an immediate family member. When you're little, you think that the monster under the bed is the scariest thing in the world. But I learned in my world that the monster was a member of my immediate family and I wasn't safe anywhere. My abuse made me feel worthless and ashamed, embarrassed by what happened to me as if I had done something wrong. I became overwhelmingly self-conscious about my body, viewing myself as clearance material, completely unworthy of love or of ever becoming a wife or a mother. I thought the only thing that I was good for was to be used for sex. I've dealt with advanced autoimmune disease and gastrointestinal issues my entire life. A few years ago, I developed chronic migraines and was diagnosed with complex PTSD. This prevented me from running my business and earning income for over two years. I'm currently going to therapy every week and it is helping me tremendously. But like the book says, the body keeps the score of what happened to you and healing does take time. My health issues are common, but don't represent all of the potential negative consequences of childhood sexual abuse. Anxiety, depression, eating disorders, intimacy issues, identity problems, fibromyalgia, cardiopulmonary symptoms, obesity, and alcohol and substance abuse, all of these are common. Survivors are less likely to attend college, 14% more likely to be unemployed, three times more likely to miss work due to sickness or disability, and will overall earn eight to $10,000 less than females who have not been traumatized or abused as a child. How can a problem that affects so many receive so little attention? because no one wants to talk about it. But sweeping it under the rug only perpetuates the problem. Little girls don't report it, abusers get away with it, and survivors live their lives untreated and suffering, like me. It's time we break the cycle of abuse that leads to millions of new victims every year. This is why I founded a new nonprofit charity called Now She's Safe. Our mission is clear, to keep little girls safe from sexual predators and support survivors on a journey towards healing and a brighter future. We're launching this GoFundMe campaign to kickstart our operations with a groundbreaking new mobile app launching in April 2024. Our new website will include a membership program for adult survivors with comprehensive medical, mental health, and legal services, as well as community connections with other survivors across the country. Please join us in this vital mission. Visit our GoFundMe page to learn more about our plans and make your donation count. Together, we can make one in four become none in four. Thank you.